we are discussing about the speed control of induction motor mechanically. This is the oldest method of speed control. We know induction motor of two types, squirrel cage induction motor and second is slip ring induction motor. We know in a squirrel cage induction motor, a rotor is short circuited. Rotor is short circuited. That's why you cannot change the speed with respect to resistance. We can change the speed of squirrel cage induction motor by the uh, frequency and the voltage. If you see this is the starter and this is the rotor. If you give the three phase supply to the starter, this R, Y and B, then we can, uh, the rotor is short circuited. The rotor is short circuited. So we can change the speed of the uh, squirrel cage induction motor uh, by changing the voltage and frequency. You cannot change only frequency, voltage, you cannot change only the uh, frequency. But in case of uh, squirrel cage, slip ring induction motor, you can see the slip ring induction motor here, uh, the starter supply is R, Y and B, the rotor is a uh, rotor is not short circuited. It have a resistance uh, in the rotor circuit. By adding the resistance, this is R1, R1 and R1. So, by adding the resistance, we can change the speed of a slip, uh, slip ring induction motor. So, uh, what is the uh, if it, uh, what is the uh, graph between the torque and the slip? If you, this is the slip and slip is 0 here and slip is maximum here if torque torque is maximum here then you plot a diagram at 0 degree at 0 uh, slip at 0 with the resistance r1 equal to at 0 uh, then the curve will like this and if you add some resistance uh, with r2 the graph will be like this if you add another resistance then the graph will be this if you add maximum resistance, the slip, uh, the torque will be zero. So from this, R1 is greater than R2 is greater than R3 and greater than R4. So this is the R1 and this is R2 and this is R3 and this is R4. This is the this torque at maximum and slip at maximum. So from this graph, we can understand that the speed of a slip ring induction motor can be changed with the changing the resistance in the rotor circuit. So what is the disadvantages? Disadvantages is that you cannot change very smoothly the speed of the rotor. But what is the advantage of the slip ring uh, with adding the resistance? Advantage is that as a, there is no harmonics. No harmonics in line current. Maximum starting torque torque third smooth starting starting so this is the very oldest method of controlling what is the uses use is you can use uh, starting of a big motor starting of big motors the motor having a more uh, starting torque. Thank you.